Did I get it? Oh, I'm hitting it. What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Subnautica. So, uh, yeah, we're back. We're doing the things, the modded things, of course. And the first thing, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff I want to do. I'm going to look at a whole bunch of stuff. I don't have any idea where this episode is going to go as far as direction. You guys all know before I do because of the thumbnail and title. Anyways, thank you again for coming out. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And uh, make sure you check out the... Um, the links down below for all of the social stuff as well as the uh the mods i'm currently using okay so uh this is not where i want to go i want to go to the depth module i want to see what we need for the depth module i want to say it's only ruby if i'm not mistaken because i want to get depth module mark three plus still ingot yes so the ruby is what we need now we did set up the drill drill one drill two Drill three, okay. We did set up drill three, so that should be getting us Ruby. And we started working on storage solutions. Oh, wall-mounted rack, you know what? I actually need one of those. Let's just go ahead and make it now. Let's just make it while we can, you know? Absolutely, but yes, thank you again for coming back and thank you guys all for the support of uh, all the stuff that we've been doing lately. It's absolutely insane. I love it, I love it. Okay, so let's get another wall-mounted rack in here. And that is because we're going to need more servers. We're going to need a lot more servers because like, uh, yeah, we're going to need more servers for sure because things are getting filled up. Uh, so, oh, that's why they come out. Oh my gosh. It comes out so you can see the things. <laughs> oh, it makes sense now. It makes sense. Okay. So we got that one. Now, uh, what do I actually need for more servers? Because the reason I want servers is, uh, because we need more storage. So advanced wiring kits. What am I missing on advanced wiring kits? Let's see here. Advanced wiring kits. I'm missing computer chip and wiring kit. Uh, we have wiring chip. Uh, do we not have, do we not have copper? Let's see, let's go to home. Yeah, we have one copper right now. That's not good. That is not good whatsoever. You know, honestly, did we end up moving everything over already? I think we did. Let's go ahead and start deconstructing some of this stuff because that'll give us a little bit of resources. Not a lot, but a little. Okay, so we only have... Uh, I keep hitting that. We only have a couple wall lockers left. Let's go ahead and throw some stuff into here. Uh, basically, just store everything we just got from deconstructing those guys. Very nice, very nice. I keep hitting escape to get out of those. Uh, okay, looks good, looks good. Now, okay, so that looks good. Deep shrooms. Let's go and put those away as well. Those should be natural, so those should go into the system. Yes, they did. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. I love this. I love this stuff right here. This is fantastic. I love all this stuff. Okay, so we need ruby. What are the odds that we already got some ruby from our drill three. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. There's only one way to find out, right? Absolutely. And storage modules. Okay, so you're empty. Should we put lasers on this thing? We need a repulsion cannon and a propulsion cannon. I wonder, personal tools, propulsion cannon. Oh my gosh, are we throwing lasers? Are we throwing lasers on the Seamoth today? Is that a thing? Uh, all I need is a computer chip. Can I make another propulsion cannon? Because it takes uh, tools. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think we're making a propulsion cannon. I think we're doing it. Unless it requires kyanite crystals. I don't know for sure. Okay. We have two propulsion cannons. Hold on a second. Hold everything. What is required for the lasers propulsion repulsion two advanced wiring kits two power cells oh my gosh we almost have everything we need let's go get the stuff let's do it oh my gosh i want to put lasers on this oh you have no idea yes you do you know exactly how bad i want to do that um 
I want to say drill two is actually hooked up, but I'm thinking that we need to pull copper from it. And I think I have copper on the blacklist. So I'm going to stop there first and do that. All right, let's check the, oh, we're at 0%. It's not even running right now. Jeez Louise. Okay. Enable blank list. Nope. The only thing not on here is sand. Okay. Oh, oh, 0% because of, uh, oh, should we throw an Altera gen on this? Hmm. Those Altera gens are pretty nice. I don't know. We're going to leave that alone for now. Let's go check the other one. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. All right. We are here. Let's go check this out. Let's see if we got some Ruby on this bad boy. I'm really hoping that we do. Uh, where's the light and no map? That's the only one that I want. That's the only good one. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course. All right. Let's see. Uh, storage. Tell me I have. I have sand. What? Are you out of? Wait, what happened? There's no way it only pulled one sand off of this with all of those things. Okay, so it might be bugged to where I have to do it every time I log in. Maybe it bugs out on the logout, maybe. Oh no. There's no way it only did one though because we had nine uh, mushrooms in here. Like there's no way. All right, so there's those. Now it's going to start running again. Right? Yeah, it's powered. Weird. I wonder why it dropped all of them at one time, though. You know what? Let's just see if we can swim around and find some Ruby while we're here. We'll just uh, we'll just do that. And we'll let that set. Hmm. I wonder why that did that. We might actually have to make some bases down here with some uh, with with some actual like, you know, old fashioned Subnautica power and kind of go that way in order to get these things powered, because maybe that generator is kind of uh, kind of broken. I have no idea. You know, it's awfully quiet down here. I haven't seen a uh, I haven't seen a ghost Leviathan yet, so I am not upset about that. What are you? Oh, there's nickel straight on the wall. Oh, we should probably move that drill down here because that would get us nickel as well. We're going to need We're going to need so much nickel. Let's see. Okay. I still don't see. I don't see. I don't see a Leviathan anywhere. Uh, excuse me, crab. I just need this. Uh, need that Ruby right there real quick. Don't ma Don't bother me. Don't mind me. Now it says 0% again. Now it says it's empty. You know, I'm thinking when you get out of render distance, it's just gone because when I was sitting here waiting before those, those, those deep shrooms were not being used very quickly. I'm thinking that this thing might not be working. It might not be functioning. And is if like, if I get out of render distance, it just, uh, it just borks it and just doesn't work. That's kind of unfortunate. I was really hoping that would work. So we're going to have to set up a, um, we're going to set up a little bit of a base down here if we want that to work. And honestly, I'm probably going to go with the thermal generator just because that is a uh, that is a Subnautica default power generation source that will not fail. Hmm. I think that's our best bet. I think it's our best bet. All right. Uh, how much Ruby did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's head back to the base. <gasps> There's more Ruby right there. Uh, we need it. We need it. We need all the we need all the Ruby we can get right now. And we made it back. No problemo. Okay, so let's see. Hold on. What did we need for lasers, repulsion cannon, advanced wiring kit times two? Fantastic. Not fantastic because I don't have any copper yet. Uh, let's see. Did we get any copper while it's gone? Uh, looks like there's one. Is it counting the storages from these? I want to say that it is. Yeah, because we got gold, lead, silver. Why do we have sand in there? We should not be getting sand. I don't want sand anymore. I quit the sand. Um, oh, blacklist. Darn it. I need copper. Shoot. Okay. Sand. So it was getting gold lead. Okay. All right. Let's just do that. I, I can't believe I turned off copper. Yes, I can. Because I remember earlier when we were going out search for everything, we could never uh, get what we actually wanted. <laughs> All right. So I need a computer chip, which means I need copper. However, mods, depth module marked three plasteel ingot 
Can I craft a plasteel ingot, please? Craft. Uh, plasteel ingot. Okay, we'll get that guy going. Let's go grab the... Let's yank the mod out of this guy. Access upgrades. Let's go ahead and pull the Depth Module Mark II out. We'll get a Depth Module Mark III. Plasteel ingot's good to go. This guy. Mark III... Mark IV, Mark V. It's crazy. These are modded. Uh, Mark IV and Mark Vs are modded. So there's Mark III. That's going to allow us to get a little bit further. What do I need for this? Oh my gosh, I needed one more nickel. One more nickel, I could have made a Mark IV. Oh well, it is what it is, you know? All right, let's put the Mark IV in here. Uh, crush up 900, armor rating 77, engine, effic engine efficiency 145, CMOS speed is 16.67 meters per second. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so we are literally just waiting for copper. I need more copper. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, well, I guess we're just going to kind of hang out here. Well, we could go set up a base. The only problem is even, even 700 meters, I don't think it's going to be deep enough for... Well, it might be. It might be deep enough for the actual Lost River, like in the Lost River. It would be close, though. It would be close. I can't believe I was literally one nickel or away from that. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn on... Oh, I just got a copper in here. That means I should have two, right? It only shows one copper. What happens if I take this one copper? Maybe it doesn't count these storages. I just pulled two copper out of it. Still shows that we have copper. Uh, no, that's insert server. Add items. Okay, there's those. So yeah, oh, okay, all right, well, there's that. All right, repulsion cannon. Let's get that guy built first. Uh, but then we need two advanced wiring kits as well, which means we need more copper. So what I'm actually going to do, because I need so much copper right now, is we're going to go ahead and swap this over to just making copper. Um, let's turn off everything except copper ore. So that means we should get 12 copper per day for a little bit. And what I might do, uh, what I might do is I might just go ahead and let it run for a little bit oh fluid intake my gosh i'm so sick and tired of this fluid stuff we really need to get some hydroponic stuff going um actually what does the water filtration machine take because water is actually the problem not food copper wire and aerogel that's actually not that bad hmm i might have to just make that oh you know what there's an fcs mod for this there's a uh, a small water deal mini fountain filter Advanced wiring kit, bleach, fiber mesh, and glass. Uh, let's go grab some stuff to make some bleach. Ooh, you know what? The easy craft. I don't think easy craft works with the storage. Wait, hold on a second. I just put creep vine in here and it's not showing. Oh, does it just delete it if you don't have storage for it? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, that could be bad. That could be really bad. It might have just deleted it. Yeah, because I don't actually see it on there. So it might it might have just deleted it. And I don't think it would go. I, don't, fluid intake immediately. I am working on it. I don't think it would go anywhere else. Okay, so let's see. Hold on. Mini water amount, uh, advanced wiring kit and bleach and glass. Okay, so I have quartz in there. I know I have quartz in the, the system. Okay, so we can make glass. All right, so I'm going to throw on some salt deposits so we can make some bleach. Uh, salt deposit right there. All right. Let's make this happen. Where is that salt deposit? Perfect. Yeah, see, I'm not actually, I'm not actually not... Um, I'm not 100% because it says we have four copper in here. But then when I go to make stuff, I can't actually make the copper wire. So it, it looks like it's... Oh, you know what? It's because I can pull it from wherever. 
Oh, wait. No. I can't pull it from wherever. Go to vehicles page, go to home. I can't actually take that copper. So that means it's saying that there is copper, but it's not right here and we can't interact with it. Oh, all right. All right. I'm just trying to figure out the mods, you know? Okay. So now we should be able to make the mini water fountain. Perfect. Because that might save us a whole lot of issues. Where is that? Mini fountain filler, a smaller water filtration system for base or Cyclops. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that. Oh, and it has like a little water jug and it has like little cups right there. That's super cool. So now it looks like it might be based off of percentage because if I'm at 25%, I can take a water bottle and it takes me down to like roughly. So it's like 20% gives me a 20 plus 20 H2O six ounce bottle. So if I wait till it's full, will it give me a bigger bottle maybe? Okay. So the last thing we need is we need two advanced wiring kits. Uh, gold wiring kit, computer chip. Am I out of table coral? I'm out of table coral. Okay, we're gonna let this thing run. I wanna come back when it's 100%. I wanna see how much water we get out of it. All right, I think we're good for at least one. Two? Oh, what am I out of now? I'm out of copper again? I have three. Oh, it's probably outside. Now we're good. All right, let's put some lasers on our little Seamoth. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. Laser cannon. Recovered laser beam technology from ancient precursor weapon fragment. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be amazing. Access upgrades. Slot two. Oh no way. Uh Death Monster Mark Three. Let's hop in. Oh buddy. Welcome aboard Cal Systems Online. Oh my gosh. It shoots laser beams. Oh, <gasps> it shoots laser beams. Now I'm sure it uses power in order to do that, but it shoots laser beams. Oh my gosh. You know what? That's amazing. I need uh, I need more nickel and we have an oh, we have a 900 meter depth. Let's go, uh, let's go down into that lost river and see what we can, uh, what we can do with this, shall we? Oh my gosh, we have lasers! Uh, you know what? I don't like this squid. Let's say forget this squid, specifically this one right here. Is it dead? It's dead. Oh my god, that took 10% of my battery, though. Oh, that took a lot of battery. <laughs> I want to shoot a Leviathan. I want to kill a Leviathan with it. No way. I'm almost I'm a, a little worried though with uh power on this. We need to get upgraded batteries and I don't have the stuff to do that right now, but still I want them. I want upgraded batteries because I want to make this a thing. I want to make this happen. All right, so let's go down in here. Now, I want to see if we can get to there's an area that I'd like to be able to get to to build a base where we might be able to build some nickel or to put the drill on, collect nickel and things like that. But I don't know if we have the depth for it right now. I know we're at 900. It should, we should probably be okay. Oh, I hear it. Do we even try? We have to try. First, we have to make a save and then we try. Did I get it? Oh, I'm hitting it. Come on. Die. Die, Ghost Leviathan. Uh, it just phased out of here. It just left. Okay. It said, nope, I'm not doing this. But we shot it and it left us alone. That in itself is amazing. I'm only at 50% battery now, though. Those lasers take a lot. I need ion batteries for sure or ion power cells at least. 
Okay, so it definitely looks like we can get down here. Which is good. Now, I wanted to see if we could probably... Okay, so there's a vent there. Oh, we're at 828 already, though. Uh, this way. This way. I think it was this way. Is it this way? Yes, the tree. So I wanted to see if we could build a base over here because there are some uh, some geysers and whatnot. And this would be a good place to give us a drill as well. Oh, we are getting dangerously close to our limit, though. Just can't really go any further. Oh, my gosh. We could go get kyanite crystal. Uh, no, we probably couldn't because I think we're going to need the prawn suit for that because it's real. But yeah, so like there's that right there that would give us power. That one could give us power. Um, there's a few things that could in fact give us power, but I don't have, I don't actually have anything to build a base here. That'll have to be a future thing. Future things for sure. But now we know we can at least get down here. We have laser guns of amazement. And what else did we need? Oh, we needed one more ruby, right? And that was to get... What was that to unlock? Oh, the next depth module for this guy. Mm, I don't know if we need that right now, though. Can I use the laser on resources? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's ski daddle. Oh, we need it. No, we need one more nickel for that. The death module. Sorry, not not Ruby. It was it was nickel. Oh, there's Ruby, nickel, and diamond right here. Let's let's just grab it. We're here. Okay, so those lasers are absolutely amazing. What other mods do we have for this thing? Because I'm feeling like the uh, the the sea moth is gonna be kind of amazing here. All right, so we have the laser, see with perimeter defense, solar charger, depth module, mm, common modules, speed boost. That one might be nice. The uh, engine efficiency module probably be good as well. Let's go see what the um, modification station has in it, though. Ooh, we need to get the uh, the stasis rifle upgrade too, so we can get the alien rifle. Oh my gosh, we got so many things. Armor modules. Oh, whole reinforcement mark two. Mark three, Mark four. We have whole reinforcement modules that we can get. Air tank, ultra high capacity. We already got that. Fin upgrades, propulsion cannon, cyclops upgrades. The nuclear enhancer, Mark two, solar charger, thermal reactor, Mark two, depth module, Mark two, CMOF. These are just depth modules, and that's a depth module, Mark two, as well. Okay, so, ooh, these hull upgrades, though. Uh, all I would need is a computer chip and the hull reinforcement equivalent to two regular hull reinforcements equivalent to three equivalent to four. Interesting. So you could stack them if you really need to. Man, we could make a we could make a sea moth that's like a, a like a swimming tank. It would be amazing. Oh, that'd be so good. Um, okay. And then I need a bunch of storage servers as well. So. Let's see, let's go grab the copper out here. I'm gonna switch this back from only copper to copper, gold, and silver. Copper, gold, silver, and titanium, I think. Actually, just probably copper, sil copper, silver, and gold. We'll just let those be the three that this one works on because I just don't think we really need anything else. All right, so I'm gonna make a bunch of servers because without the servers storing the things, we're gonna lose the things and we don't want that. I'm going to make one catch-all server. I'm literally just going to have everything checked on it. That way, in case we run out of any, like, storage room, we can just have, like, everything go to it. Perfect. Okay, and then what does that say? Uh, is that formatted too? True as well. Oh, my goodness. You know what I just realized? We might have messed up. Um... We, we messed up because my ion cubes my ion cubes I put in there and they're gone we auto stored them and they didn't have anywhere to go oh I messed up well uh, there's nothing you can do about that now all right so there's three servers close the server rack oh that hurts okay so 
personal opinion should be uh if if you add items or whatever oh, wait, wait hold on hold on let me see here settings rename this base go to color vehicle zone seamoth nothing in that container hmm my personal opinion would be that if there was nowhere for it to go it would just stay in here oh because we lost our ion cubes ion yeah we lost our ion cubes i think i don't think i put them anywhere else no those those they're gone they gone gone oh that is that hurts that hurts the soul see fluid intake oh yeah we gotta check our water deal uh okay oh so you can get five water balls out of it oh my gosh oh that is so nice that is so nice. Okay, that is fantastic. That is a lifesaver in and of itself. Mm, I'm dying on the inside from this. Um, I'm probably just going to spawn it back in, honestly, because I need those ion cubes to do stuff. Uh, also, oh, hold on a second. Let me make sure. Uh, purple tablet's probably gone. Oh, no, ion cubes right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. We're fine. Okay. Good gosh, I was scared. I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was absolutely terrified. <laughs> oh, but at least we have one storage locker that can hold everything. Honestly, like I wish you could just format all to everything. It's just like, yeah, I don't really care because I'm not gonna actually go into those servers now to uh, to move the stuff around. I'm not. I'm just gonna let them sit there forever. So like, can't I just format all the servers to hold everything? I feel like there should be a quick format option. You know what I mean? Yeah, there definitely should be a quick format option where it can just store everything. That'd be nice. Maybe there is, and I'm just missing it. I probably am. So like if I go in here, I don't have a, I don't have a server to store though. Actually, I wonder if I put a server in here and just don't check any boxes, just put it in there and take it out. If it'll consider it um, formatted or not, I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, that's going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. We got some laser beams on our Seamoth. And I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty good. It was pretty exciting. Uh, next episode, I don't know what we're going to do. We might go work on a secondary base in order to, uh, to get some more drill stuff going. Or we might work on making the prawn suit. We might work on a bunch of things. Might work on a bunch of things. But yes, thank you guys again for coming out. Like, subscribe, all the fun things. Make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos. And all of the social links are down below. Discord, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all the things. So if you want to check those out, please feel free. I'd love to I'd love to see you there. But thank you again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.